my high seas fleet. And you should definitely not be red. Any color except for red. Yellow works. Okay. Um. Nah, you can stay there. That's fine. Well, it's the Russian Empire and the Confederacy versus Britain and Germany. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, we have enough for four more tank divisions. We should also make sure that we're not training anymore. And these guys need names. So first of all, whoops, we have got Imaginary Exponent. We have got Buildmaster. We have got Musian. And we've got Grand Misa Funk. For as far as I've come with learning the game, Navy stuff still makes my head spin, which is why I'm glad for mods like Old World Blues, where the Navy is basically irrelevant. Well, DJ Freaky, have I got a tutorial for you? If someone wants to put that tutorial into chat, that would be great. And hopefully it will help. Okay. The People's Republic of China joined the North American Combine. Oh, things are escalating. Corsica joined Britain. Navarra joined Britain. Do I want to attack you, Germany? No, because you probably still have more troops. So it's actually relatively close. Right now, I do definitely have more men on the border than they do. I just kind of feel like I'm going to need the... I have 10% entrenchment. Ah. It's hardly worth it then. So far, so good. Sounds like you guys weren't digging deeply enough. No, they clearly didn't have enough of Dwarven spirits with them, did they? Ah, Estonia's not in the war. Oh, Latvia's not in the war yet. Oh, you could be attacking Narva. Uh, Finrand. Finland, I don't think it's going to hold any particular grudge against me. So I'm kind of wondering if I want to put these guys somewhere else. It wasn't just the horsemen that had poor entrenchment though, it's like even my infantry have a maximum of 10. What's my main infantry division makeup? It's pretty standard, it's just infantry. Nothing very special about it at all, although I'd love to bring more artillery in seeing as a superior firepower, but I definitely don't have the, the price for that right now.
They're apparently using a railgun here somewhere. <laughs> I thought you meant literally a railgun. I was like, they have what now? Oh, this. Yeah, if it has the bombardment thing, then that means that they have a rail-mounted gun back here somewhere, supporting. Well, I think what I might do is... There are no mountains to be fighting over. Are we going to get naval invaded in here? Maybe, unless we can clear this up quickly. So I might actually go and send the light tanks down here. And the mountaineers? Or am I oversaturating at that point? I think I'm probably oversaturating at that point. Uh, do it anyway. Because there are some mountains here that we'll need to fight. And then we're going to bring the blues into the middle. To hold that section. Okay, so we should have a whole bunch of heavy fighters. We do. And we're going to put them on anti-bombing, because now bombing logistics is a big part of the game. So we're going to stick those on interception duty. And you know what? I'm going to split you in half. And then bring you both up to that. And we're going to deploy you over here. As soon as you're able to. There we go. That just brought them in. Come on. There we go. And we can go ahead and bring in some more skilled groups. Okay, now we're suffering red everywhere, so... Hold and dig in again. Japan took two states. Chinese Empire was capitulated. People's Republic of China has also capitulated. Or unless that was the Empire. Yeah, well now we're going to have red air and all of this. That was the downside to pushing forwards. <clears throat> See you, Chandler Lord. That's true. We could try to do some infrastructure bombing. We do have the strap bombers for that. Oh, you're another tack bomber. Um, let's have you joining them, because they don't currently have any. I'm going to merge all of you together, because you're the naval bombers, which I'm not currently really using. And then the strategic bombers, which is these guys, who can hit already from where they are. the supply hubs. And only seems to remember how to do this at night. So you don't get shot down, hopefully. And there we go. We're getting some counter-attacks, which we're beating fairly easily. Gonna do some more localized offensives. Because it doesn't look like Germany is really defending down here particularly effectively. I will accept a non aggression with you. I will accept a non aggression with you. I 
We'll accept one from the Dutch. I know that was the Dutch East Indies, but never mind. No. Yes. 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 Uh, I guess? I should probably just accept all of these, because they're going to be in the other faction that's fighting against Germany right now, which is the Canadians. Okay, so it is November 1940. I'm not going to use my two years ahead of time on that. I think we will, however, use it on this. Oh, Mav, hi, I'm doing well. Enjoying this so far. Oh boy, the Australian leader looks like a barrel of laughs, doesn't he just? Not quite as evil as the um, evil Canadian. That guy is terrifying, like evil Disney. Won't bombing hurt when I'm pushing, except I'm not pushing there, I'm pushing in the south. Although one thing that I should probably be doing in the south is ensuring that we keep up with our own supply network. Connecting up the railway if it isn't already. So it should be. Struggling a bit with supply there. So you're keeping up, 19 out of 19. We've got trucks enough over here. So, so far, so good. And the big old push that usually precedes Operation Barbarossa hasn't really happened. Just install the Say Cheese mod, it makes Evil Disney look even more amicable. <laughs> Keep knowing, so it's like, no, not until the 13th of December. Look how a northern quadrant can attack. Where'd it go? Oh, yeah, he's. Oh, southern quadrant struggling. Take and hold. That's what we're employing here. Push, take and hold. You're overburdened right now with the supply, but that's just because there's a lot of fighting going on, so you're sucking up everything that's around you. Canada's more than halfway to capitulation. That's a little bit scary. Oh, the train explosions, the fact that I'm getting bombed with my logistics. Which is why it was important for me to get my, um... Heavy fighters in the air. Yeah, see, they've been bombing my trains here. But the heavy fighters should be blocking that. I'm actually bombing infrastructure. <laughs> that would help. Now you are. And then we have the naval bombers, which honestly... We'll put over here. Naval yeah, strike the Barents Sea. Just, you know, a bit of overwatch. Keep an eye. No, better. Better, better, better. Let's put you in the Black Sea. some extra air support for those outer regions. Uh, why are you so low? In that case, I'm going to say go for it, go for it, and go for it. There we go. Lots of green. That's what I like seeing. Let's 
themselves being pushed there, which isn't great. Oh, it's because of all the river crossings here. Ooh, hello. Definitely appropriate music for this. No longer getting restoration and development. That's fine. Right, we can get the two years ahead of time, which means that I get 1943 construction in just 93 days. Heck yeah. That's what I was working on. Galati's going to fall soon. We're actually doing really well in Romania. Less well up here in the north. Although Voru is about to fall. So it's not all bad. It's fine. And Semenyov is holding on to the center. Although Semenyov should really be wherever the fighting is the heaviest right now. So I should probably... Yeah, upgrade three of your divisions. To steel Cossack template. And you know what that means. That means we've got to have some names. Alright, so this is going to be Fort Minor. This is going to be L Eli Vas Chaos. And this is going to be Rednecks. Yeah. Split stuck on this again. Because we literally just had that song. Alright, onwards to Sacred War. Gun shortage. Mm, yeah, 9,000 guns is a fair old shortage. What's up with you? Ah, you can get infantry expert. Oh, please do. going to outproduce me. But I guess early war we should be a bit more defensive than just going outright attack stuff. So far our strategy of taking holds working pretty well though. Our supply lines are holding out nicely except a little bit iffy in the north. Uh, December 1940 although we're on the verge of 41 so I think we can go ahead and get the assembly line production. Oh, it is growing rather rapidly, you're not wrong. Okay, so what that is suggesting to me is that we probably need some more gun producing. We are building military factories. The absolute demolition I suffered in the face of, what was it, World Ablaze? That's not happening here, though. We're at least holding. Oh yeah, upgrading railways will help with supply, but that's what I'm saying. I'm, I don't actually have supply issues, really. We're losing a few trucks to attrition, but... Otherwise, things are looking very, very solid. Although we are losing Boru again. Oh, no, we've got some reinforcements. No, they're not really reinforcements. As long as we hold on to Sukov, it's fine. I think the bigger problem here is going to be this state of my air force. That I am concerned about. Because if I stop attacking, we'll start regaining guns. Just out of interest, how much damage are we inflicting here? Uh, oh, it actually tells you how many are recovering now, that's cool. 
So we've lost about 40,000. We've inflicted 21. A lot of those guns, I think, are older ones. Italy lays claim to Greek territory. Italy declared war on Greece. Italy's at war with Germany. Greece was a uh, German ally. Citing the Roman Empire as a forerunner in the modern Italian state, Italy has claimed that an independent Greek state has no right to exist. Instead, the Greek territories must acknowledge Italian supremacy in the Aegean or have it seized by force. National Union of Greece has denounced the claims as ludicrous. However, Italy has the backing of the Novus Imperium Romanum, which consists of itself. <laughs> Against that. Good luck. Need help in the north? Not really. This is just them taking back what I just took off of them. I would prefer if we didn't attack though, guys. Spread out, spread out. And we have a massive amount of air doctrine. Oh, sorry, air experience. So we could get Spirit of the Air Force. Which... None of these really jump out at me. So I think I'm just going to go with the Air Doctrine. And I think we're going to go Operational Integrity. Like so. Oh, 28th December, we can now choose a focus. So now we are locked off. Like, we've legit done everything over there that we could. We could improve the railway network, though. This one's not one of the locked ones. And that would be tempting... The only thing that's kind of making me pause is the fact we still don't have a Tsar. And I kind of feel like in the Tsarist playthrough we should probably get a Tsar. So, um, let's Tsar. Oh, and construction speed. I'd like that too. In 1931, the beautiful Cathedral of Christ the Saviour was blown up to make room for a garish palace of the Soviets. Why precisely a society supposedly built upon the idea of equality would need a palace is left as an open question. Now that we've returned to power, we should revert this terrible crime and begin reconstruction of the cathedral. Officer Corps thing is cool. I agree. The Officer Corps thing is very, very cool. Um, we could also get Spirit of the Division. Well, there's your entrenchment buff, but we have such bad entrenchments, I don't think this is really going to work. Division speed, org loss when we're moving. Hmm. Aggressive reconnaissance, reconnaissance plus 15, in intelligence gained from combat, infiltration, reserve officers, delay tactic, victory or death! Mass charge becomes our thing. Or smoke and fire, breakthrough. Suppressive barrage. Um, it would help if I knew a bit more about what those actually do. So the defenders do less damage, the attackers do more. It's annoying. When you select it, it shows you what it does. But if you can't actually select it, it doesn't tell you anything. Well, that's attacker tactic damage, that's defender damage. Why is that red? Why is that then green? Well, if I'm defending, defender tactic means that the defender does less damage, but so does the attacker. Fine. Uh, what's that symbol? That, I'm guessing, is some kind of modifier to combat width. So that reduces the combat width it use. And that's probably movement speed, so they attack you more slowly. So elastic defense would seem to be the good one for us. It increases the damage done by the defender, and it also slows. None of these are elastic defense, though, were they? No. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's Elastic Defense. If it's the preferred tactic. Uh, requires Superior Firepower Doctrine. That's what we're doing. We're going to get this.
Which I guess then raises the question of when do we get that? So one of the really late ones, isn't it? Oh yeah, there it is. Mobile defense. Okay, well that's what we're aiming to get then. Oh, here comes the uh, the German assaults. Uh, please don't counterattack, guys. Germany's been bolstering the number of troops they have down there. Germany's lost a million. I have lost 282,000. So I think we're losing roughly one to one. Which is bad for Germany. Except for the fact that in this game there is no America. There is no America to bail us out. Because we made them go communist. I mean, at the moment we're holding out just fine everywhere. Just worried about the air power. That's the one thing that I'm concerned. Oh, we're getting some level ups. Ha! You've got some field marshal buffs, which is not very helpful for you. And you've got infantry expert. I mean, so many of you are going to get Cavalry Expert because you're a Cavalry Commander. It's what you do. An Ambusher might not necessarily be a bad one either. If you're going to be dug in anyway. Uh, it's plus five only, though. Duchy of Corsica has capitulated. Benito Mussolini has announced the cowardly Corsican nation could not withstand the pressure of his overwhelming presence of his forces. However, Italy is kind of struggling a little against France right now. Right, how are we doing for heavy tanks? We have another 62, which we are going to add to... Oh, there's no cavalry down here in the south. Right, 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 right. Maybe I want to switch. No. No, we're going to keep on bringing the cavalry in here. I know we put some in the north, but I'm not convinced they have the supply to manage this. Alright, so this is going to be known as the Halak. 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 B. And then this one is going to be Elsenstrat. Sweet. Music stuck again. Yep. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, Italy. I will allow you to resupply my ports. Yeah, number of guns we're losing is definitely increasing. 